Always as usual. Fucking up my videos. How about that again yet? It's like... Three of fucking clock. Three. Why do my sister bother calling at this time of the t day? Knowing I'm getting ready to go to work or I'm at work. What? Right. It's somebody that sent out an energy that said, I don't want to see you doing no videos. I don't want you seeing good. Doing good. I don't want you seeing doing anything better than me. People in their spiteful, vindictive ways, just out of hate and jealousy and enviousness and and whatever the fuck they got going on, just leave me the fuck alone. I ain't on your channel fucking your shit off if it ain't got nothing to do with me. If I catch it doing something with me, then that's a whole different story. Other than that, leave me the fuck alone. Shit. I got a life too. Don't I? Tastes like air to me. Feels like I'm breathing. That means there's a life in me. I don't know who it is or do whatever you did to block me. You still got a vindictive bone in your body. You need to resolve that shit within your work to resolve everything within me. Healing my family, healing myself, healing my kids, healing whatever it is in any form, shape, or fashion of healing. My ancestors want their story to fucking be told. And I can't do it if y'all keep fucking blocking and stopping my fucking videos. Shit. Family included. I'm going to be an ancestor in a minute. Yo ass going to be an ancestor in a minute. Shit. Y'all got stories. I got stories. They got stories. I might know them all. I might not even know half of them. But they got stories. Shit irks the fuck out of me. It's a build up. And then boom. It stopped. I was saying about my grandpa and my grandma. Visiting them. Loving them. Being honoring them, and who is it that you had a favorite of? Who are your favorite siblings? Who are your favorite uncles and aunts? You got them all. Who are your favorite brothers and sisters, uh, cousins, and stuff like that? You have them. They might not want to hear that you got them, but you got them. When 
spirit knows that you're trying to get a message out. It's not because of just your message. You understand? It's not just a message of ancestor. It might be a message that somebody else may need to hear that might come through for them. It may be something that they had in their heart that they miss, in their subconscious mind that they miss, and they need a soul remembrance of that person that blessed them with life, with a gift. And then when you blocking that, that next person won't get a chance or the opportunity to hear that message. When you stop them from feeling the love and compassion and joyfulness they may need, especially in motherfucking 2020, you may be stopping them from living. You may be stopping them from carrying on and doing better for themselves. You are not helping them because they may decide to jump off the fucking cliff, bridge, building, strangle themselves, hang themselves. You're blocking them from surviving when you stop people's videos. It's not that person. It's the next person. It's the next person's life force that they connect with you on. Show compassionate enough to and respect enough to let the next person be able to understand they're not by themselves, that their grandparents or their uncles, their moms, their dads, their aunts, their cousins, their brothers, their sisters are trying to speak to them from the other side. That message may come through because you're talking about them. Didn't know that, huh? Two thousand and nine. I had a dream. I spiritually woke up. I was always intuitive as a kid. I always had the power to change stuff by staring at it. freaked me out, didn't understand it, but I acknowledged it. In this dream, my backyard was full 
of people. I could see right now there was a lady sitting on um, like a cement part of the stairway. It was a step when she was sitting there. I've, I clearly remember seeing that without a doubt. And I see all of these people that was in my backyard and they was just coming to me, just, just waiting to be seen. Did I understand what that was about? No, no, I did not. Did I want them there? <laughs> no. Y'all have to go. Bye. I don't know who y'all are. I'm not ready for whatever it is y'all got going. Bye. Mm -mm. Nope. When I'm ready, I, I will I will call y'all back. I will help you out. Anywho, on the one part, I was trying to say the remembering of my grandpa and grandma, send them a communication of love, that you honor and respect them, that you love them still. Use a communication oil. Use St. Anthony oil to make sure you find them. Use a leg wide, leg bond. I don't know the, um, I guess Gabriel. If y'all going towards the Christian way to find your um, ancestors, write on an ancestor note who it is you're looking for. You oil the note and then you powder it and then you pray over it. and you speak to them. This is for the house of. This is in the name of, of. This is for the spirit and soul of that was here on the plane in the year of, until the year of. to buy whatever you need. Pay your rent. Pay for transportation. Right? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm still a little irked. So, the, it's, it's one of those Uber days. What did I tell you in the other videos? One of those Uber days. So, I know what I have to do. Descontrada. Anyway, y'all have yourself a blessed evening, a blessed morning, a blessed night, and I will see you tomorrow, possibly. I may take a freaking day off. I need to clean my house. Let me go and pick up this package, and I will talk to you guys later. Done and dark comes to light spiritually. Blesses each and every one of you who are 
physical on this plane and especially spiritually speaking. Suki D. Tope, Suki Tope, Jessica D. Guillory Rance. It is Saturday, October 10th, I believe. And it's probably around 3 30, 4 o'clock. Time for me to go get some gas and and then go get this package and then come back home and make my way out. Y'all have yourself a good day, all right? All right. Um, and I will speak with you tomorrow. Love all of y'all. Bye-bye.